Hey guys, this is Saurabh Nahi of Mall Wetting Logies, and today we will be having a look at the new Micromax Unite A092. Now, like Unite 2, we have around 20 languages supported on this device as well. If we have a look at the specifications given on the box pack, we have a 1.2 gigahertz quad core Snapdragon chipset, we have a 1 gigabyte of RAM, an 8 gigabyte of internal storage, dual SIM slots. 5 megapixel fixed focus camera and a front VGA camera. We have Android 4.3 Jelly Bean out of the box and 1500 mAh battery. Let's move ahead and see the pricing given on the box pack is rupees 6500, which is an MRP. And let me just remove all this plastic thing and unbox this device itself. So guys, this is the new Micromax Unite A092 on the top, and let me just remove this. And as you can see, it is standard Micromax sort of packaging, a lot of plastics here and there. And this device is clearly inspired by some Nokia device, if you can make out. But that's good. Let's get rid of this and move ahead and see what's inside the box. So you have this tiny little battery sitting here, and it is a fifteen hundred mAh battery, which is good. And we have this USB to micro USB data cable, or you can use it for charging. And it is not flat, normal cable. You have this earphones, which are in your style. Pretty impressed with no uh, Micro Max, and that too they are flat ones, so that's really good. Never expected this from a budget device. And we have this button to receive an end call, and we have this microphone. And that's about it. We also have this power adapter. You can use it for charging your device, and some documentation, warranty card, user manual, and stuff. You can have a look later on. And you also have this screen protector, we can, uh, which you can install on your screen, or you can add to your screen. That's about. It. So on this plastic, as you can see, there are some specs. So let's get rid of this plastic, and again let's get rid of this plastic as well. And this device feels really good, you know, when it comes to build quality, and it also resembles the Nokia device, if you can make out, and that's good. So let's have a physical overview. On the front we have this 4 inch IPS display. On the top we have this speaker phone, a VGA or front facing camera, and some sensors on the top as well. We have this three touch capacitor buttons at the bottom, and we also have this microphone over here. On the back we have this 5 megapixel fixed focus camera with LED flash. A Micro Max logo at the bottom over here, and we also have the speaker at the bottom. And on the right, we have this power to lock and unlock button, and these buttons feel really good. On the left, we have this volume keys. So on the top, we have this micro USB port for charging, as well as you can use it to sync up with your computer. We have this 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and nothing at the bottom. So as you can see, the back cover is 
made up of plastic and it resembles Nokia device so the build quality is really good and this is a good move from no Micromax although they have copied it from Nokia but that's good for a good cause and it is a bit difficult to remove this back cover so do take care while removing this back cover and you can notice this is really hard plastic and I have never seen such sort of back cover on any Micromax device till date and here you can insert in your micro SD card over here SIM 2 slot which will accept GSM SIM and SIM 1 slot which will accept WCDMA SIM which is your 3G SIM let's pop in the battery if it has got some juice we'll have a look at the interface and Android version and internal storage and stuff so let me just power on this device and let's have a look As you can see the display is really bright and it looks really good you know and when compared to Moto E if I give Moto E 10 on 10 I'll give 8 on 10 to this device it is really good for this price and as usual there are a lot of apps pre-installed on this device you can see which will eat up your internal storage I hope you can delete them which will be good and it is fairly smooth and responsive as you can see it has got a quad core processor and 1 gigabyte RAM which is enough let's go into the settings about phone and you see Android 4.3 Jelly Bean out of the box good enough but I would love if there was a Android 4.4 KitKat out of the box Uh, let's move back and you can see there are a lot of applications pre-installed which is really bad and also auto brightness is missing so you have to manually set up the brightness that's okay for a price of 6500 you won't get all the things let me just set up some another wallpaper so you can see that the display is really crisp and good now let's again go into the settings and we'll have a look at the internal storage and stuff oops let's go into apps where it is mm, yeah so as you can see we have an internal storage of 2.2 GB and we have internal SD card storage of 3.0 GB which comes to around 5.2 GB total internal storage and we have around 570 MB of RAM free out of 1 GB so that's okay and that's about it about the internal storage and RAM stuff and overall this device is pretty responsive and pretty smooth you can see and we have this quick toggles over here inside the notification panel and that's about it I'll be coming up with benchmark review and gaming review full review and stuff so for that you need to subscribe to my channel you can see the subscribe button below do hit the like button if you like my work and do visit aatechnology.in this is Saurabh Nahi of Mall about Technologies thank you guys for watching